Okay, so we know that everything's broken at this point. The Emax is still drivable because we fixed the steering on it, but the rear diff we have not fixed. So it's two wheel drive, but it still works. This one here, steering's gone on this one. I'm not sure what's up with it. It's not usable in its current state. So I think I'm gonna go at fixing this one first and then maybe we'll get into fixing this one. Or maybe that'll be on another video. We'll have to see where we go with this. I'm thinking let's take this down and let's dig into it. Okay, so here's where we're at with this, right? You kind of have some issues. It, it sounds like it works, right? It doesn't sound like this is spinning, but when using the remote, it steers one way and then doesn't steer the other way. So might have to hook up a battery to it and see what's going on. Um, something's definitely not right. All right, so I grabbed the remote. I've got a battery in it now. Uh, let's turn it on here. Fans running, sounds like a jet plane taking off. Okay, so. Right, see that? Nothing, nothing at all. Right, still got throttle, right? No. Okay, we got no throttle either, okay. What's going on with this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we're back now. So I don't know what that was about. I guess it didn't didn't bind or something, but I just turned it off, turned it back on, and now it's fine. It's doing it again, see? So it turns that way. Yeah, you can hear the fan bogging down. But then turn the other way. Nothing. Nothing. It's not receptive at all. So, I mean, that's telling me then, I guess, that something's wrong with the servo here. This is really too bad. This is an expensive servo, too. Alright. I'm gonna unplug this whole thing, like, quiet that off, quiet that down, and, uh, take the servo out of here, and we'll do some tests with that, see what's going on. Hopefully I don't have to buy a new servo, but... That's what it's looking like. Something I only just noticed now as I was about to take the servo horn off. Look how loose that is. Oh, come on camera, focus now. Look at that. Look how loose that thing is. Does it, I don't know, it doesn't look like the screw moves though. Maybe it does. Heck. Oh well, whatever. We'll dive into this more. We'll dive into this more, see what's going on. It's definitely more loose than it should have been. Oh yeah, okay, that is on there. I think I'm gonna need the Allen keys to get the sides of this open. See this particular one, it's got a screw on either side. It pinches this shut to help these from stripping, which is great, but it's on there pretty good. So definitely that gear's not stripped. It's something in that, in the motor there, but, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Here we go, got this popped off of there. Okay, so I've got this big high-tech servo out of a one-fifth scale I used to own, uh, or one-sixth scale, something like that. Anyways, that's on. Let's turn this back on again. Okay. Yep, there we go. Working perfect. Nothing wrong with the transmitter or that receiver. This servo is screwed up. So I do have another servo over here, this uh, Futaba, but I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know about this guy. I can't remember why this guy got pulled. He might just be for parts now, but maybe we can rebuild this one. I don't know. We'll have to take a look and see. Alright, so we're going to start with getting this servo out of here. 
So we're gonna have to pull this out of there. Apparently it's not as easy as I thought it would be. All right, we're gonna get that out of there. And then we've got a couple of screws in here. Uh, and this should just pop right out. And then we can pull this apart. There's gonna be four screws on the bottom side of this, similar to this one over here. So I just tested this one. The motor in it is working. It turns back and forth, but it's got some stripped gears in it. This one's got plastic gears. So maybe with any luck, we can swap the parts into that. So four screws on the bottom and we might be able to make this work. Let's hope for the best. All right, got this stripped out of there. Look at these tiny little screws on the back of here. Look at those. Well, we're gonna rip this apart and hopefully that is gonna go into that. Those two are gonna be great in this. All right, so we've got the first servo that was in here stripped down, all these nice shiny metal gears. Everything's fine, nothing's stripped. It's this part here. It's not receiving signal properly or it's not, well, it's receiving. It's not sending a signal to the motor properly. Um, so the problem is with this part here in this servo. This one here, I'm pretty sure it's got stripped internal gears. So my hope is these gears here end up on top of that servo there and we're back in action. All right, so I'm inside the, the other servo and you can see guys, all plastic gears and that one there especially is missing a whole bunch of teeth and this one even here is missing a few. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this is gonna fit right on there or not, but we're gonna try. All right guys, so before trying to build this thing and make it all work, um, cause the gears don't exactly line up, I can tell already, but before trying to make it work, I thought I'd plug it in and see what it does. And it's kind of interesting. And I've mucked around with the throttle, with the trim, with the steering trim a little bit. I've reversed the trim, um, everything. And I can't seem to get it to stop doing this. Watch what happens. So, I turn it on. And there you go. It just starts going. And I've played around with the trim. I played around with the trim on this, and check this out, so I can get it, if I steer it, see I can get it to stop, kind of, no, I can't even get it to stop, I can just get it to slow down, so it definitely seems to be like a trim problem, but it's so out of trim, it's so out of whack, yeah, I'm not sure what that's about, or how to fix that. So it's basically going full tilt. So if any of you have experienced anything like this before, okay, let me turn this thing off, and that fan is loud. If you've experienced anything like this before in any of your builds, let me know in the comments, because this is the first time I've ever seen something like that happen. And I'm guessing, well, it stripped the gears, but I'm guessing that I ended up pulling this thing out of a, a model, possibly even because it was just, just zipping around, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Uh, maybe I am doing something wrong with the trim. Maybe I need to uh, rebind the transmitter to the receiver with the new servo setup. I don't know. Maybe I'll give that a shot. But even aside from that, these gears right here are not meshing up with that anyway. The ca whoops. The casing is actually a slightly different size too. It's slightly longer, so the screw holes don't line up, which is a bit of a problem. And then yeah, the gears. They don't quite line up and they don't quite mesh uh, whether it's a different um you know tooth pitch or what i'm not sure but i think at this point i'm ordering another servo so i'm gonna get on doing that a couple of days we'll be back we'll put a new servo in this and then we're gonna take this out and rip it around have some fun okay i can't even explain this but i thought you know what i'll try to make the gears fit i shoved them all back together so two of them or no one one of the metal gears and one of the plastic gears is now in here, got them to mesh together somehow. Um, the plastic one's probably just bent a little bit, I don't know. But either way, it's in there now, and when I turn this thing on, for whatever reason, the trim the trim is actually centered. I recentered the trim, plug that in, when I turn this on, it actually functions. Check this out. Yep. 
It's not very fast, but it's gonna work. At least for, you know, a little while. I'm gonna try it out. There it is, guys. It's all back together. Check it out. Look at that. Look at that. It's working. Well then, I guess we're gonna have to test it. I'm sure it's not gonna hold up long, but who cares? At this point, it's free. Oh boy. Okay guys, I put it down on the ground in the shop here and it looks like things have maybe already stripped. Well, that didn't last long. I took it off the workbench, put it under some kind of load. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh. Oh, okay. Nah. Nah, nothing. Alright, got a little little bits, but I think it's just simply stripped up the plastic spur that's in there. The the plastic gear. So oh well guys, we're ordering a servo. That's that. Catch you next time when I got that servo.